My friend had a theory that Yoko might be the stalker because you see her at least once in almost every episode when she has no reason to be there. And I noticed that she stares at Wednesday occasionally when no one else is. That's honestly a really good one. I would like to see Yoko as the stalker because she has such a mysterious vibe. And even Enid has a line in the first episode that says that she's kind of been there for decades. Some of them have literally been here for decades. And I would like to see all the stuff she's learned by being there for decades, all the school drama. That's it, I'm out. That's something that would cause me to go psycho and, a, and be a stalker. I would love to see that, and I think Naomi would have a blast being the stalker. I'm totally up for it. We have roof parties, campouts, the occasional midnight skinny dip. My main prediction is that with Principal Weems gone, they'll need to fill the position, and who better to fill it with than the esteemed alumni Morticia Adams. Such good times we had, didn't we, Larissa? That's a really good suggestion. Would Morticia want to handle a school full of children, though? Wednesday, stop. We do need to think about that, but I would honestly, I think she would slay as the principal, and I think it would be really fun. I think Wednesday would absolutely hate it. You insisted I go to this school. Did you really think I wouldn't find out your secret? But I think Enid would have a lot of fun with it. You know when like your friend's mom is like your tutor or your teacher and you kind of like joke around with your friend's mom to kind of antagonize your friend? I feel like Enid would take advantage of that for sure. Why did Enid wolf out when she did? I'm gonna go with the fact that she was all hyped up on hormones from back in with her boyfriend <laughs> and finding out her principal is dead and her best friend was kidnapped and in danger and there was a blood moon. Sounds like a recipe for wolfing out if you ask me. You know what? I honestly kind of agree with this. Her best friend literally just left the school. Her principal's dead. She was just smashing face with her boyfriend. Whoa. You know what? If you think about it, the, her claws came out at the end of the Raven when she was going to kiss Ajax. We should probably take it slow, right? So that's one. And then two, she's also smashing face with Ajax and her claws come out again. I, I, I agree with this. This is canon to me now. Enid? I have this feeling that Bianca's mother will be one of the main antagonists for next season. The town needs a mayor and the school a new headmaster. Maybe she will use her siren song to get access to one of the positions. That's actually really good because Joy wants to dive in to the whole like siren song, morning song cult thing. I actually really like that because her mother is so like scary. And like makes you have chills every time she comes up. So I would actually, I would love, love to see that. Her being a mayor and then like manipulating the whole town of Jericho, that would be a good plot line. That would be really good. Then everybody here is gonna know how you sirened your way into Nevermore. Who do you think is the stalker? Maybe Enid. Maybe Enid is just in love with Wednesday. <laughs> From Jenna Ortega. Oh my gosh. Maybe Enid is the stalker. Where have you been? I'm literally having a heart attack right now. That would be that would be a good plot line as well. But what would be Enid's motive? Maybe Enid is just a little bit obsessed with Wednesday and likes to take her picture. We can wear them together to class. Oh. Like, could you imagine finding out your best friend had like a secret little compartment of photos of you like in different areas? I'd be like, oh, I'm so sorry. I have to request a different roommate. <laughs> I'm a little freaked out here. Where are you going? Yoko's room. I think we're gonna get a deeper look into Tyler's mother and who her master was. I feel like we're also gonna see him fighting between how he actually is like a normie and his hide self. I would love to see that, and I know Hunter would also love to see that because people don't understand Tyler and that he was kind of forced to do the things that he did. And I would love to see, you know, him fighting with himself and Tyler's mother and her master is also a really good thing that I would like to see because there are so many interesting things they could do with the master of Tyler's mother. My mom had severe bipolar disorder. We both know that's a lie. Like, she was fine until all of a sudden she wasn't who, who unlocked the hide in her. That would be fun to explore. 
Lurch's eyes at the beginning of the show are gray, but they are black at the end. His body language and expressions at the end are also more relaxed and different. What if he isn't Lurch and his principal Weem shape shapeshifted as him and somehow didn't die? That's really good. I I would love to have Weems come back because I love Weems. I love Gwendolyn. Yeah, I'd love to see like Weems fake her death and now lives as somebody else. What if Weems was the stalker? That would be really cool. I like that theory. I like that. <laughs>